Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have a long overdue update for my eyebrow journey with the castor oil. I am going to show you what it looks like under all this makeup and in order to get there, I am going to be showing you my entire nighttime skincare routine starting with taking off my makeup washing my face, all that stuff. I'm gonna show it to you. I'm gonna show you what products I've been using lately and um, go through the whole list of things and um, and show you exactly what I'm gonna do. It's been requested quite a number of times and for quite a while. I just have never had the time to do it. And I figured I've gotta do the castor oil eyebrow journey update anyway. I might as well just take the time and go through everything, all of my steps and show them to you. So. That is what I am going to do. I just didn't want to come on and scare you without a face on, so. All right, let's get into this routine. Let's get this oily skin taken care of. Yeah, it's been a long, hot day. I'm gonna start with my Equate Beauty Makeup Remover and a Knits and Naturals Cotton Makeup Remover Pad. This is actually made in my particular Etsy shop and they are completely reusable. You can wash them in the washing machine or you can hand wash them. They work amazingly well and there's no waste. These are hand crocheted with 100% cotton yarn and they feel really soft and amazing on the skin and they're just, they do so much. They're sturdy. They don't fall apart like disposable cotton rounds and I love using these every single day. And I have to say I really like this Equate Beauty makeup remover. It does take everything off. The only thing I am struggling with here is the fact that I am wearing waterproof eyeliner in my water and tight line so it makes it a little bit harder to get that out. Now I'm just gonna to toss this right into the wash or hand wash it. I have quite a few of these since they are from my Etsy shop. I can just make more or have my mother-in-law make more anytime I need them. If you are interested in them, I will have them linked down below in the description box. This was so awkward to try to film in my bathroom. The way it is set up, I didn't know how to put the tripod, so it is actually reflecting off the mirror, and that's what I am doing here. I am washing my face with the Clinique Facial Soap. I believe the one that I'm using is number two for combination skin. I much prefer the one for oily to combination to oily skin, but um, this is just one that I had in my collection, and that is what I'm using right now. I am using that with the Duval Radiance Spin Care System. I will be showing you all of the attachments and everything here just in a moment as soon as I am done washing my face. Here is the Duval Radiance Spin Care System. My skin feels really nice after this. You can just pop the top off and use one of the four interchangeable brushes. This one is the Body Brush and it is really nice to reach those areas on like your upper back and it just feels so lovely and makes the skin just feel awesome. The next one is the facial cleansing brush. You can use this with any facial cleanser that you want to use and it works great. And the last one that I'm going to show you is the pumice stone. You can use that on any of your rough spots or on your feet and take care of any of those crazy spots that you normally wouldn't be able to get to with any other brush system. The one that I washed my face with was the exfoliating brush and I use that with a cleanser to kind of kill two birds with one stone. Next up we have the Neutralize Exfoliating Pads. These are toner pads for acne prone skin. This package comes with, um, I believe it's 100 in, the little container and it says it fights blemishes and fades post acne marks, minimizes pores and improves skin texture. I did notice with these that they are very, very saturated unlike some of the pads that you get for your face. These 
definitely are very saturated. One side seems to be a little bit more exfoliating and the other side seems to be a little more smooth. And I have definitely noticed a difference with the texture of my skin. It doesn't feel um, as bad and I've noticed with the breakouts, um, that's when I primarily use it, that um, it definitely heals quicker. And I am going to insert some pictures of where I started and where I am currently. And this is just a few days use. I only use these when I have breakouts, not on a daily basis, but they are safe to use up to twice a day after your skin has gotten used to them. The lip balm that I'm using right now is from Be Essential. It is a brand created by beekeepers. This one happens to be lime and coconut and it is a beeswax lip balm that is soothing, softening, and all natural. Here I am using the Baby Peach Refreshing and Hydrating Beauty Mist. This stuff feels amazing on your skin, especially after you have washed your skin. If you have, you know, any kind of sensitivity, it just, it soothes everything and feels great in the hot weather. Now I am using the Jadiance Vitality Anti-Aging Serum. This stuff is a nice consistency and it glides on really smooth, feels nice and soothing. And I really enjoyed the texture of this a lot and I felt like my skin really appreciated it. It is in a nice gold airless pump packaging and I just really enjoyed it a whole lot. And we are down to the last two products of my nighttime routine. This is by Dr. Schultz. It is the Beauty RX and it is an anti-aging night cream. It is very emollient and it glides on really nice, has a lovely texture. And um, I think this would be best suited for people with normal to dry skin. Us oily girls can use it, but I probably would only use this as like a nighttime mask one to two times a week. It says that it is for all skin types and perhaps if you don't have absorption issues, it probably could work for you on a daily basis. And last but certainly not least is my castor oil to do my eyebrows. I am going to zoom you in here if I can get it to look decent and um, show you what I'm putting on. This is just castor oil that I put into an empty brow gel container. I brush it on my brows every single night and um, I do believe it is working. I will zoom you in even closer in a moment as soon as I am done putting this on my eyebrows. For those of you that have been following my journey, I am going to be showing you pictures from the very beginning and you will let me know what you think. So this is the growth that I have right now. I have a few little hairs growing in there. Unfortunately, you can't see as many on this particular side. For some reason, I am getting better hairs growing over my left side than I do on my right side. The tails of both are growing in, but um, yeah, they're filling in slowly, but they are filling in. I hope you enjoyed my nighttime skincare routine. And if there's anything that you're interested in, I'm gonna have all of these products. If I can find a link to them listed down below, some of them were sent to me for review or consideration. Some I've purchased with my own money. And um, yeah, I you know I won't recommend something if I don't actually use it myself, so. I've got all the products right here. I do use them and some of them I absolutely love and will purchase again. Others I, I do enjoy, but um, I don't know at this stage if um, the long-term effects are gonna be there because some of these things I've only been using just under a month, you know, probably about three weeks. So we'll just have to wait to see um, what the long-term effects are. And um, you know, I'm gonna keep you guys in the loop. You know I am. So 
Um, again, if anything, if if there's anything that you want, I'm going to put links down there. Some of them might be affiliate links. They are not all affiliate links, um, but I will mark them with an asterisk if they are affiliates. And I think that's about everything. If you have any questions about any of these products, just put them down in um, the comments and I will try to answer them to the best of my ability. Hopefully I will be able to answer them. You just never know with me. All right. Um, I think I'm going to wrap this up. Let me know what you think about the eyebrows. Um, obviously I have done this outro before I took off all my makeup, but um, I know what they look like under there. Let me know what you think they look like with the comparison of where I started and I guess it was like a two month update and then now, however many months later, I wanna say it's like six months later because I started this partway through January. So yeah, we're, we're six months. So let me know what you think. I I'm feeling pretty good about it, but I wanna know if you guys see any difference. All right. Seriously, going to wrap this up. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you in my next video, have a beautiful day.